Good afternoon, or rather good evening from South Africa. My name is Byron, and with me on camera is Dave. And we're sitting with some beautiful male lions at the moment. Now, I'm hoping that they start to get active. It is, we're reaching that time of the evening where usually predators do start getting active. However, these male lions fed on a buffalo and finished the carcass this morning. So they are very, very full, and you'll see, you'll notice some large, full bellies. You look at that, very, very full at the moment. And uh, it's great that you have joined us. Don't forget, we are completely live, so send us your questions or comments. You might hear some noises behind me. There's some Franklin. That's a ground bird we get in this area, a, a Swainson's Franklin. Very noisy. We can't actually see it. It's just hiding behind a tree at the moment, but you can hear it shouting. It's last call for the evening. Karen and you say, look at those bellies. They are insanely full. They really are so full. Oh, this Franklin's making a lot of noise. <laughs> Now, as I was saying, we are completely live, but don't forget, we also have our live television shows. And you can join us Sunday evenings at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Safari Live on Nat Geo Wild. Don't forget about that. Otherwise, you can watch us every day on Safari Live, where we do our, our morning and sunset safaris. And uh, there you can just go on to wildsafarilive.com and you can enjoy these safaris and hopefully see more of the wonderful animals we have Claudia you want to know what time it is yeah it's now quarter to six in the evening so we're finishing off our day at the moment whereas depending on where you are in the world if you're in the United States you're probably just uh, getting halfway through your day um, or maybe still morning there now there's a bird calling that i'd love to show you and that's the joy of being on these safaris is there's always something going around but there's a little owl that i can hear and i've spotted him i've spotted him oh, i hope dave can get him dave in that dead tree that rather large dead tree yep. just have a look in there uh no so that, that little thin dead one. You can just see the thin branch sticking up. That one, yeah. Yes. Now have a look in there. Just go straight in. Uh, where? There he is. In the middle of the screen. There you can just see him turning his head. Look at that. There's the little owl. I managed to spot him. Can you see the head? It looks like he's got two black dots. Or um, big black eyes. Those are just black dots on the back of his head. Yeah, let me see. Maybe the spotlight will help. Hang on. Oh, a little bit far. Can you see? Uh, it's helping a little bit. Look at that. A beautiful little owl. And I heard him calling. He has that wonderful whistling sound. It's not often you get to see these tiny owls. There we go. You can see the face. That is great. That is really great because we were just saying earlier, we haven't seen some of these owls for quite some time. The owls are, as you know, are mainly nocturnal. And this is the pearl spotted owl. That's what that is called. A lovely little, little creature. And it's got that wonderful whistling call. That beautiful call. You see, every time it turns its head, those two black spots, they look like eyes. And that's probably a defense mechanism against other big birds. Linda, thank you so much. You say you love watching us live. And it's great, Linda. We love having you as a viewer. Hopefully you learn a little bit about Africa and the a safari and what to expect with all this, these wild animals. Now let's head back to these lions. They're still just lying in front of us. 
Julia, these lions are resting. Um, you could say sleeping. I mean, it looks like they're completely asleep. However, they are still completely aware of what is going on around them. They are alert. Animals do not sleep like we sleep. They, they rest. They generally rest. But lions have been known to sleep or rest a lot more. Um, and the, the reason for that is they conserve their energy. And I hope probably later this evening they'll start moving around, possibly go in search of water. They've been feeding on uh, on buffalo for for a day, so they may be thirsty. And <laughs> look again at that swollen belly, very full. And now the wonderful thing is that we get to show you these three big male lions. Now that is somewhat unusual. Um, but the reason for that is these males are part of a coalition. They are the dominant coalition in this area. They've got a very, very large territory. And they will meet up with females and prides or different prides, not just one pride. So they'll constantly patrol their territory. They do split up at times. One male may be in one part of the territory, two in another, another one in a different area. This coalition actually consists of four males, but for this evening we've only got three of them together so i'm not sure where the other one is possibly just patrolling another part of the territory there you can see some teeth sticking out now harry these animals fortunately don't get agita agitated well i wouldn't say they don't at all they're not agitated with us at the moment but um and the reason for that harry is we've spent a lot of time in these areas tracking following viewing these animals um, they're constantly safaris that go on in these areas. Now, these are not tame animals at all. These are com completely wild. But because we um, show respect for them, we don't try to chase them. We don't disturb them. We purely view them. They're comfortable with us being around. So that it's mutual respect. That's all it is, Harry. And we are so fortunate that we get to show you these animals from Africa. We're right up in the northeastern part of South Africa. In the greater Kruger National Park. That's where we are on Juma at the moment. That's where we do safari live from. I was hoping these lions would get up and call. They do a wonderful territorial call. Especially in the evenings. Warn other lions that they are around. Possibly try to keep other lions out of their territory. Also maybe find females. Kelly, no, a coalition is the name that is given to a group of male lions. That is what a group of male lions. So it could be two, it could be three, it could be four, five, or even six. I have heard of coalitions of six male lions together. It's unusual, but it can happen. But usually it's between one and four, I would say, for a coalition. Uh, obviously a male by himself is just a male, and he would probably stay with, within a pride. He won't necessarily move around by himself. It's the coalitions that patrol huge territories and they will move around together. Protect each other and keep out other lions. Now don't forget everyone, our television show on Nat Geo Wild, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us for Safari Live. And then if you'd like to watch us tomorrow morning, we're finishing, well we're going to be finishing this evening fairly shortly. But tomorrow morning on our sunrise safari, we'll be out again looking for animals. You can join us on wildsafarilive.com and ask us questions and get to see some of the animals that we see, just like these lions. Earlier we were sitting with, this li with these lions and a big elephant bull came wandering past. It was great. The lions just watched him. They were a bit nervous. And again, the lions are just wary of big elephant bulls. Um, they are powerful and they will chase the lions if they see them. James, you say, while these lions lie in the road, maybe there's some others lying in ambush close by. So, <laughs> possibly. But um, no, fortunately, these are the only ones at the moment that are in this area. Just these three males. But I'm so glad you got to join us, everyone. So thank you very, very much. I hope you've enjoyed this little insert of Safari Live. So from myself, Byron, and from Dave on camera, goodbye, good night from South Africa. We'll see you all on Safari Live again soon.
Bye, everyone. Thank you.